My name is General Joseph Alvin Johnson of the Confederate Army. The date is April 19, 1865. General Robert E. Lee surrendered to Ulysses S. Grant at Appomattox just ten days ago. I have decided to surrender even though the war may continue for many more months. My decision has been made in order to spare my men more pain and death, since it is obvious we have lost. As I sit in my quarters, surrounded by the remnants of a once proud army, I can't help but feel a sense of defeat wash over me. The war that was supposed to bring us independence and glory has instead brought us to the brink of destruction. My mind races with thoughts of what could have been. If only we had taken Gettysburg, if only we had held off the Union at Petersburg, if only I had been given more men and resources. The what-ifs haunt me like ghosts. I think of my dear friend, General Robert E. Lee, who entrusted me with the command of his army. I feel as though I've let him down, and the weight of that responsibility is crushing me. As I prepare to meet with the Union officer, I can't help but wonder what the future holds for our defeated nation. Will we be treated with mercy, or will we be subjected to the harsh justice of the victors? I know that I must be strong, for the sake of my men and for the sake of our cause. But in this moment, I can't help but feel a sense of regret and sorrow. We came so close, yet it has ended in total defeat. Our nation has been ripped apart and I can only hope that it will somehow mend in the not-too-distant future. I take a deep breath, steady myself, and rise from my chair. It's time to face the music. I mount my horse, my heart heavy with the weight of defeat. As I ride towards the Union lines, I can feel the eyes of my men upon me. They know what's coming, and they know that our cause is lost. I approach the Union officer, a tall, stern-looking man with a hint of pity in his eyes. We exchange words, formal and cold, as I surrender my sword and my army. The shame and disgrace burn within me like a fire. I feel as though I've failed my men, my family, and my nation. The weight of responsibility for the lives lost, the families torn apart, and the destruction wrought upon our land is crushing my soul. As I am led away, a prisoner of war, I can't help but wonder what the future holds. Will I be imprisoned, or will I be granted clemency? Will I be able to return to my plantation, to rebuild and start anew? My plantation, once a thriving and beautiful estate, now lies in tatters. The war has ravaged our lands, our crops are burned, and our livestock is scattered. My family. Oh, my family. My wife, Sarah, has borne the brunt of the war's cruelty. Our son, James, was killed in battle, and our daughter, Emily, was left scarred and traumatized by the Union soldiers who ravaged our home. If I am spared imprisonment, I vow to rebuild our plantation, to restore our lands to their former glory. I will work tirelessly to provide for my family, to give them back the life they once knew. But the memories of this war, the scars it has left upon us all, will never be forgotten. I will work the land with my own two hands, I will toil in the fields, and I will rebuild our home, stone by stone. I will strive to be a better husband, a better father, and a better man. I will try to find redemption in the ruins of our plantation, in the eyes of my family, and in the hearts of my people. But for now, I am a prisoner, a defeated general, a man consumed by regret and sorrow. I can only hope that one day, I will find forgiveness, and that our nation will find peace. This story is being told because I fear it may soon be repeated. Our nation is currently divided. It may be for a different reason this time, but the results will probably end in the same way. I pray for our nation to never go through this type of war again. People don't understand the true cost of war in a divided nation. We need your prayers and for you to spread your words of reason. We must never be at war with ourselves ever again. If you enjoyed this tale of the Confederacy please click all the buttons. You know, the like, share and subscribe buttons. Thank you for watching and learning about an important event in America's past.